Welcome back to more Lord of the Rings Online. In the last episode, I was helping Jarl Girthilm enact revenge upon his foes. I left you in a bit of a cliffhanger. We're gonna go do an instance with him. I don't know if the landscape difficulty applies during instances. We'll see. Hopefully, I can take care. Are you prepared, Kippen? Hopefully. Hopefully, Betrayed I am. by the Kundala, Jarl Girthilm and his company now seek to punish their treacherous benefactor and seek the gold that was promised them. So it looks like that the... Yeah, the landscape difficulty got removed here in the instance, so it does not count in here. Are you prepared, Warden? The blades of my men have tasted much of the blood of Kundalar, but our foe eludes us still. A coward to the last, I do not doubt. We shall press onward into the mountainside, and there soon shall be nowhere left to hide. Ready your arms and let us go. We have battled through many of the Kundalar already, but it shall not be long before they bolster their numbers. Let us go, Kippen. Lots of archers ahead. You know how I feel about archers. Now we must press on. Let me let me move this escort like right there. Okay. Let me get in here. Yeah, pretty easy without the landscape difficulty. And all these count for that daily repeatable that I have to kill enemies in North Athelion, so that's nice. Look, ahead, Jarl. A Lord's Tent. Zarhal Koz must be there, but he would be a great fool to have left himself defenseless. If we are ambushed, you must continue to fight. He cannot escape alive. Okay, let me come up here. Try to get everybody in AoE range. Okay, and now I got these guys here. These guys, nice. Okay, we're moving along here. We're doing well. Let me heal the wounds. I'm gonna go grab all these guys. Clear the area. Let none live alive. Leave alive, sorry. Need an exaltation of battle here, or I am gonna be in trouble. That archer's or that sorcerer. Okay. We survived. Die, Kundalore filth. It's taking a lot of damage there. Zarhal Koz, the time has come to repay your debt of blood and gold. He does have a lot of gold outside his tent. Come forth, coward, or your tent burns. I have a feeling he's not in there. Never mind. There he is. Girthilm, stop this. Why have you come? Uh -uh. Do not play coy, Koz. It does not suit even one as slowly as you. You have slain our brethren, broken our deal, and cheated us out of our just reward. You failed in your task. Do not put the blame on me. As I heard it, you deserted the battle. I robbed you of nothing but the chance to shed your dishonor and death. You were given what you deserved, the bounty of gold and what should have been a swift death upon your return. 
Your people were fools to remain on the field in the final hours of the battle. Mourn them as nothing greater than that. You and the rest of the Varyog dogs do not deserve to kneel before my people. I owe you no mercy, brigand. I shall send you as slaves to the pits of Udun. You speak true. The time for mercy is done. What is he doing? He's running in there. Guards! It's an ambush. Zarko Hall's men leap forth from the tent. Try to do some single target damage here on this guy. Stop this! You can have anything you want. Gold, land, stop! Zarhal Cole lies defeated. And misses wealth of gold and treasure. All I want is vengeance. The day is won, Warden. Let us be gone from this place. Let me finish this repeatable, by the way. You have defeated many of the enemy's forces in North Ithilien and may clear the way for the host of the West while their numbers will likely return in time. You have routed them for the moment. We have won a great victory this day and an even greater wealth of gold and Kundalar trinkets. Those Kundalar dogs have paid for their treachery and now all that remains is the journey home. With such a bounty, our travels will be slow to a crawl, but we shall live it as kings in Khand. You have been an honorable companion, Kippen, and it is time that you received your reward. It is done, Kippen. They have paid a price for our service, and more still for their betrayal. Lord Zarhar Kohl, Zarhal Koz, shall send no more men after us, and any among the Kundalar who would dare to track us will not soon find us in these lands again. My dealing with the Dark Lord are finished, and are as are those of my men. We shall not fight for a master who does not honor our way. Gerald Gerthilm's eyes turn to the Mountains of Shadow with a scowl and flashes across his face before he turns back to you. However, there remains a matter of your share. You are free to take it, should you so choose. I understand if you prefer to keep our dealing secret. So you may also refuse it, and I shall send you on your way with basic supplies for your troubles. I would have been a fool to turn down a larger cut, but I'm a man of principle. I leave the choice to you. So, honor alone or spoils of war. So, let me read both of them before I accept one. So, what shall it be, Kippen? You tell Jarl Gerthilm that while his offer is generous, you do not wish to accept your share of the gold. I had a suspicion and a small amount of hope that you would refuse my offer. Your sense of duty is unfailing, Warden, and none shall think less of you for honoring it. Besides, I shall have shares sorted anew without yours, and my men and I shall be the richer for it. Speak with Drugard, and he shall give you something to help you on your way. Not gold, mind you, but we're not heartless. So it looks like you get a unique title here, the Tireless Benefactor, or we can do Spoils of War. Five bags of gold coin. Oh my god. That's 50 gold. That's pretty good. That's actually a pretty good spoil. So what shall it be, Kippen? You tell Jarl Gerthilm that you would be glad to accept your share of the Kundalar's gold. You surprised me, Warden. Perhaps for more alike than I thought. There was a light in your eyes during the battle with the Kundalar, and not all of it came from the shimmering gold. If that is your wish, consider it done. Lothara has divided the shares, and yours is in his keeping. Speak with him, and it is yours. If our paths are so strange and winding to cross again, you would be welcome among our company. All right, let me look this up, make sure there's nothing that opens up or closes up from a completionist perspective, and then I will make my choice. Okay, so it looks like there is no impact from a completionist standpoint. I can just pick whatever I want here. And I kind of want the spoils of war, and there's a reason for that. I've been running around for years doing quests for everybody. And nobody's ever thankful, you know, they say thanks, but then they just send me to go do something else. Nobody gives me a substantial reward for my quests ever. So, not necessarily as a reward for this quest, but a reward for everything I've done for all the peoples of Middle-earth up to this point. I feel like I deserve something, okay? 
All right, getting a little worked up here. I deserve my fair share, and I'm gonna take it. Kip and Proud feed the opportunist. Five bags of gold coins. You'll take your gold? I must admit, I wagered a small portion of my share that you would refuse it. I suppose there's more sorting to be done then. Girthilm must be delighted. We do not battle without the promise of rewards, and with all you have done, you should consider doing the same. As promised, here is your share. Very nice. There you go, I got my title. With that sorted, I think it is best for my men and me to return to Khan now. Our battle is finished and our vengeance done, and we desire no greater role in this war. You keep the company of many great warriors, but do not underestimate the Dark Lord's power. In victory or defeat, I hope that you can escape his wrath. Off with you, Kippen. Your allies might think less of you if you continue to travel with men such as us, and rightfully so. With a smirk on his face, Jarl Girthilm gestures for you to leave. Kind of reminds me of uh, Jajox a little bit. I like these guys. I hope we meet up with both Jajox and Girthilm in the future. I think that'll be nice. Okay, so... Moblong... And Daggerus. They're both at the cave. I might swift travel back there, but I'm still confused about this quest here. Complete the quest for the herbalists of Minas Tirith and Ithilien. They can be found at the camp of the host and within Henneth Anun. So I've been to Henneth Anun many times. I haven't really seen anything pertaining to this, but let me swift travel back there. Or a milestone back there, I should more appropriately say. Yeah, I got my gold. I don't feel bad about it. I'm tired of always doing the honorable thing here and just getting abused by these people. Having me run around, collect deer skin for them, collect little flowers, go kill enemies while they sit back and enjoy all the money. I am relieved that our foes have not encroached any more closely, but I do not trust that we are free of them. They will come again and we must be ready for them. Dornok means well, but I shall speak to him about using more caution while scouting. Even the slightest rustle can expose our position, and to be exposed means to be slain. Thank you, Kippen. After I sent you on your patrol, I sent several other rangers to track our foes in the further reaches of Ithilien. Many of them went to the north, a few to the west, and a few to the east. The border of Daggerlad has always been contested, but our foes have emboldened by their master's rage and they pour across in great numbers that we have previously weathered. It has been some time and I would hope that my scouts have all returned by now. I would ask that you gather their reports and deliver them to me. Search for my scouts in Henneth Anun and hear what they have learned of our foes. For many years, rangers held refuges throughout the lands of Athelion. However, as the enemy regained his terrible might, we began to lose our footholds one by one, and now only Henneth Anun remains. Our hidden refuge of Torngroth held long against the enemy's forces, outlasting both Thurindath and Adab Dolan, but it too fell. I wonder what has become of them since we were forced to abandon them. With all that we have endured in the great battle, can we now hope to reclaim what was lost? I would ask that you scout them, my friend. Horngroth can be found along a riverbed far to the, to the northwest. Thurindoth to the north and Adab Dolan along the Mountains of Shadow far to the southeast. Go with haste and tell me what you uncover. The time of the rangers is not yet ended. Alright, lots of quest rings here. Is that an herbalist? It's a repeatable quest here. Never done this one before. Do you remember the trolls we found in the wilds of Athelion Kippen? The ones that had turned to stone? Some of our company have since returned to the sites where you discovered them, and they all appear to have encouraged the growth of a peculiar moss upon them. We harvested a small amount and we were able to extract it to a healing salve. It is unlikely that any of the mosses we have encountered in Athelion it is unlike any. Could a troll from the dead city truly give way to something so helpful to my kinsmen? Seek out the sun-touched trolls, my friend, and scrape the moss from them. Do not harvest it all, for I am certain we shall have further use of it in the coming days. 
Hey, O'Kippen, if you are willing, I once again have need of your aid. I would ask that you travel to the field of Cormelin and again gather seeds of oxlip, horsetail, and vegetling. My fellow rangers and I have great need of them, especially with our foes retreating into the waste. Return to me with as many seeds as you can bear, and perhaps then we can speak about planting them. With all the seeds that we have gathered recently, it has become of great import that we see them planted as soon as we are able. The enemy's forces have been routed for the moment, and we must seize the opportunity. Here, my friend, take these seeds and patrol the land surrounding Henneth Anun and the old ruins of Athelion. It is there that we shall find the most fertile soil, and it is there that these seeds should be planted. Go with haste, and we shall speak again soon. Okay, so it looks like it's kind of... Quests I've already done, but it's a different version of it that's repeatable, so I gotta do all these. And I will gladly do so. I will find others of my people who wish to help. I am no stranger to errands of secrecy, Kippen, and I know that neither are you. There was once a time when I would say that we could have handled the ambush by ourselves, but there is wisdom in being prepared. I will find others of my people who wish to help, and we will have a greater chance of success if they are beside us on secret feet. Battle on the open plain is very different from forest fighting. I will not say it will be a relief to engage in the latter once again, but every man in the company has seen enough of the former by now to last him until the end of his days. Legolas looks at you with a raised eyebrow and hurt expression. I hope you are planning to ask me to join on this one. I do not want to be left out of such an adventure. Perhaps Aragorn asked for me by name and you thought he asked for Daggerus instead? Legolas laughs a musical sound. I will gladly accompany you to the ambush and ambush the ambushers, my friend. Tell me when you are ready and we can leave. Let us make our plans and then depart for Kirith Lodin. With the rangers of Ithilien and with the Aragorn's kin. And then we will depart for Kirith Negan to surprise our foes. Okay, let's go. Orcs and Easterlings have set a trap for the host of the West. But now we seek to foil the ambush before it can be sprung. We have come the long way around Kirith Negan, Kippen. But now we are in position to surprise the orcs and easterlings before they can attack Aragorn's host. We will descend upon them in full-throated fury and send them back screaming to their lands or to death. No, Gimli. We must maintain our secrecy and remain quiet as we approach. What? But Gandalf said he wanted us to make noise. You cannot expect me to charge into battle without a battle cry, Legolas. The orcs will have a picket north of the pass. You and Kippen need to defeat them silently. Maybe you could whisper your battle cries, Gimli. Whisper, not our own. <laughs> Alright, so Legolas is doing his own thing. I'm going with Gimli. Alright, Kippen, let us find these enemy pickets quietly. Orcs are close, Kippen. Baruch Hazard. Oh, that's funny. They made him legitimately whisper. Very good. Do not get too close to Kirithna again before the rangers are in position. Gimli must not be defeated. So I assume if I just stay close to Gimli, I won't be out of position. Another scout. I think we have been unnoticed so far, Kippen. All right, up the hill, Gimli. There are foes nearby. Kazad Amenu. Someone else approaches. This is no enemy. It is the Ranger Daggerus. The rangers are in position, Gippen, and so too are the elves. Now we just need someone to give the signal to attack. Why don't you walk down the road behind Kirith Negan and let our enemies know that we have been out, outmaneuvered. The time for stealth is over now that we are ready to launch the attack. Sorry, I had a hiccup while I was reading all that. Okay, let's go. 
Your attack will be the signal for the rest of us, Kippen. Finally, no more sneaking around. Let's go, Kippen. Yeah, I thought it was really funny how they voice acted him whispering his battle cries. It's the details. It's the details. Kazad, Kazad. So it looks like I don't need to fight those. Alright, the rangers are shooting down here. Victory! Let this be a warning to the foes of King Elisar. Well fought, my brother. Well done, Gimli, as you were quiet as anyone should have expected, my friend. The threat has passed. We have victory. The enemy has been dispersed and will no longer pose a threat to the host of the West. Thank you for your heroism, Kippen. I must thank your friend Gimli as well, both for the swing of his axe and the stillness of its tongue during the approach. I know that dwarves enjoy to bellow, and keeping his quiet must not have been easy. We have all done a service for Aragorn this day. I am glad to have made the road safe for the host. Let us return to Aragorn and report our success. We dispersed our folks, but do you think it was too easy? Thanks to our efforts and those of our friends, the host of the West will now be able to proceed safely through Kirith Negan. And yet, my mind turns over and over upon the idea that will not leave me in peace. We followed the ambush and dispersed our foes, true. But does it seem to have been too easy? Certainly our friends in Ithelion have ambushed many foes from that spot with success. But this effort on the part of the orcs and easterlings does not seem to have had any real chance of victory. Their force was too disorganized to cause us any trouble. Indeed, it seems to me that even had we stumbled unknowingly into the trap, we might still have survived to, to rout our foes. Will you mention my concerns to Aragorn? There's something peculiar in all this. Ithilien may be beset by foes, my friend, but we have not yet lost the advantage. Our foes are large in number, but lacking in resolve. They do not share our knowledge of these lands, and there remain many things in the dark that these woods... that might strike fear into the heart of an orc. It is the fear that we must prey upon, Kippen. The breaking of branches, a chirp that breaks the silence, the howl of a great beast. Our foes have quailed before them all. Orcs and Kundalar alike search the land surrounding Hennath Noon and they are fearful of what lurks in the shadows of Ithilien. Seek their searchers in the lands around Henneth Anun, and let loose a cry while you remain hidden from sight. The fear we can instill in them is greater to our cause than any amount of bloodshed. Spook some orcs, okay. I need to go up here. The enemy's forces shall not long be broken. So I gotta gather reports from the rangers here. The Kundalar have crossed the battle plain and now camp within the Thilian. We must act against the Easterlings now. None have come to the Forbidden Pool. Not today. I don't know where the fifth one is. Hmm. Out here, maybe? Let's try it. So, this is a repeatable I have done. The Mughal host must be defeated. Yeah, so I'll leave that be for now. The enemy's forces plan some evil for the mountain pass. Nagaras is troubled by the ease with which the ambush was upset. I think there's an answer for that, though it might not soothe his worries. I deem that the chief purpose for that ambush was to encourage us to keep our course. 
to draw us on with a false estimate of the enemy's weakness. If it did cause us harm, so much the better, but I think it unlikely that it was intended to do anything other than to faint at our strength and bring us on with confidence. All right, let me get this thing. Go to Bar Tanaha and learn what the Rangers know of the road ahead. Do not let my assessment challenge your resolve, my friend. That the enemy believes he has us at a disadvantage means that he prepares to seize the bait and fall into the trap that we have set for him. We must not give him any sign that this real danger lies elsewhere, or we will endanger more of our own lives. All of Middle Earth will be at risk. And so we continue. There is a tower to the northwest of Hanathanun, a ruin called Bar Tarnhan. From there, the rangers of Ithilien have launched many strikes upon the orcs. Go with Legolas and Gimli to Bar Tarnahair and learn what the rangers at that place know of the road ahead. Okay, so... Let me start doing some quests out here. No, actually, let me... Let me turn in the other quest back down here just in case it opens up something out here. I think it's probably wiser to do that. These reports are troubling, and much will need to be done to ensure our foes cannot gain more of a hold in Athelion. The Kundalar are a terrible foe, for they are unlikely to surrender in direct combat. If we are to rout their forces in Athelion, it must be through total defeat. The Orcs of Mordor are more easily spooked, but their numbers are endless and the Dark Lord drives them further into Athelion each day. To be free of even one of our foes would be a great boon to our cause. Alright, so no part two there, but, you know, the drill. I think it's a good stopping point for this episode. In the next one, I'll venture outside and do all these quests here in my log. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Thanks for stopping by the Renaissance Gaming Monastery. I hope you join our community on Discord and Twitter. These videos are produced with a lot of hard work and love. If you think they're worth a dollar, I'd be grateful for your contribution. You can send a thanks donation or become a member on YouTube. You can also support through PayPal, Patreon, or even with cryptocurrency. All links are in the description. See you on the next video.